Hi Facebook, welcome to Tuesdays with Gail. Today I'm going to go over very briefly homestead exemptions. Now homestead exemptions are for every county. Uh, I'm going to show you Harris County. There is one for Galveston County, Fort Bend, Montgomery County, whatever county you live in. Uh, you can always just Google um, homestead exemptions and then whatever county. So this is the Harris County one, which they all, for the most part, look the same and have the same information for you to fill out. Now before I get into the actual homestead exemptions, and I have my folks on Instagram on as well, um, there is an imposter. You will, if you are a homeowner, most likely get something that looks like it's legit, but it isn't. Uh, you will often either get this in mail, sometimes you may even get this email to you as well. If at any time you receive anything through the mail that looks legit, uh, but that's asking you to pay a payment, especially if it has to do with your property taxes, homestead exemptions, things of that nature, forms for you to fill out, Harris County and no other county in the state of Texas will ever make you pay to fill out a form uh, that you can turn into them for free. So this is an imposter homestead exemption. I know it's a little hard to see. I'll do a screenshot later um, so you can see it. But at the very bottom, one of the reasons why I know this is a fake, first of all, this is one page. A real homestead exemption is five pages. So you go from a real homestead exemption that is five pages long to a fake one that's one page. So that's one of the indicators that I know this one is a fake homestead exemption. Another indicator is along the bottom, it gives you a full refund disclaimer and a number for you to call if you're not satisfied with their service. Again, a homestead exemption you'll never have to pay, so you don't need a full refund for anything. And um, you, are asking, you are going to be giving them your credit card information. If they're asking you for credit card information, if they're talking about um, refunds and customer service, it's a fake. So beware of these. If you have any questions, if you're getting anything in the mail that might be legit or not, let me know. Send me a message. I can look pretty quickly and I can look for certain indicators to tell if it is a fake form or if it's not a fake form. Now, when I say fake, I mean that this is basically soliciting for you for your money. You'll never have to pay to uh, get a homestead exemption uh, recorded in your county. It is always free. So if you're ever being asked to pay, I think this is only $25 as well. Uh, actually $35. It used to be $25. They've gone up. Uh, but if you're being asked to pay $35 to submit your uh, homestead exemption, no. It costs $0 in actuality. So a real homestead exemption is five pages long, is zero dollars to complete and submit, um, and it is due by the end of this month. So April 30th is when you must have your homestead exemption completed and sent to Harris County Appraisal District's office. Uh, April 30th, there's a lot of things happening this month, a lot of great things. Uh, first, the flowers are blooming. Second, taxes are due this week. Uh, for some of us, we may need an extension. <clears throat> and homestead exemptions, end of this month, they are due. They do not allow you to file after April 30th. They are very, very strict about it. If you have any questions about homestead exemptions, and that's for every county in the state of Texas. So regardless if you're in Galveston, Montgomery, wherever county you're in, Harris County, end of April, April 30th, is the last day you can submit your homestead exemption for free. You'll never have to pay um, for your home. So homeowners, it's really important that you do this because then it will prevent and it does prevent your property taxes from, they're always going to go high, but it prevents it from going higher than normal. And you do get to protest. That'll be a different video on how to protest your property taxes, but this is the first step in making sure your property taxes stay reasonably affordable, so to speak. So I'm going to switch camera views so you can see how a legit form looks like and how a um, non-legit form looks like. 
And this is true regardless of what county you're in. You will always have um, people that are going to try to swindle money out of you and will try their best by telling you certain things or certain amounts of money. Always, you know, refer to uh, me, hopefully, or another realtor or friend that you know that's in the business. They will definitely help you determine what's real and what's not. So I'm going to switch views here. And here on Instagram as well. So this is a legit, let me switch views for my Instagram folks. A legit, um, this is Harris County's appraisal, I mean, I'm sorry, application for your homestead exemption. It's pretty self-explanatory how you fill it out. And it is five pages long. This is the one that's the imposter. And you see right there where it says um, that it's $35. It's never going to be any amount to do your homestead exemptions. And it's right there. It looks legit. Designation of homestead request form. I mean, it looks really like it's the real thing, but it's not the real thing. So don't let it fool you. Again, along the bottom, you'll see where they are asking for credit card information, full refunds. You'll never have to do worry about that with the authentic one. This is a, completely for free. I circled the due date right there. It is April 30th, and it even gives you the address to return this form to. So it tells you right there. I'm going to do here. Return to Harris County Appraisal District P.O. Box and all the good stuff. I can send you a copy of this or any of you, uh, you're in another county, your um, application or your homestead exemption forms from your county. Again, if you just Google uh, homestead exemptions and then your county, it should pop up. Uh, okay, so last but not least, I'm going to turn this around. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to show you one portion of the homestead exempt exemption. It is five pages long. It's very self-explanatory. You fill in certain sections. You don't in other sections because you only fill in if you're... Uh, like a, a veteran in certain sections. You won't have to fill out the last page most likely because this is an affidavit if you are over 65 or you have disabilities. So nine times out of 10, you won't fall into that category. You won't have to do the last page or if you have a manufactured home. So that's when you do the last page. Uh, over 65, disabilities, or have a manufactured home. If you don't fall into that category, last page, you don't have to do. But you do have to turn it, it all in together regardless if it pertains to you or you filled it out or not. Um, you will have to sign and date uh, on page four saying that everything you have filled out is true. So make sure you do sign and date that last page and print your name. And for the most part, the most important part is step four. So step one and step two is basically asking for your current residence, your former residence, your property, uh, the owner, the address of the property you're uh, claiming your homestead exemption on, and then your legal description and account number. If you need help locating that, let me know. I can show you where you can find that. Again, this is for applying for your homestead exemption. Now, on step four, this is where you can actually check as many boxes as pertains to you as possible. You don't have to just check one box. You can check as many boxes as you need. Um, so it gives you some explanation as to what it is that you're applying for the homestead exemption for. For the most part, you're going to do the first one. It's just a general homestead exemption. Uh, some of these other ones that pertain to you, if they do, then that's the one you check as well. And it'll tell you how you qualify. So if you qualify for that one, you check that box. If you don't qualify for it, you don't check the box. If it asks you for some additional information, you provide it. If it doesn't ask you for additional information because you didn't check that box, then you don't provide it. And actually, it is just one box you check for this. There's a number you can call if you have any questions, and it tells you right here, 713-957-7800. That's 713-957-7800. That's for Harris County. You can call them if you need help on deciding which box to check. But for the most part, it's always going to be the very first one, general resident homestead exemption. Um, so that's 
for the most part, what you need to know about homestead exemptions. Thank you all for joining me Tuesday. If you have any questions about this, where to find these for your county, and how to spot the imposter homestead exemption, please send me a message. Let me know. Until then, you all have a blessed Tuesday. Bye.